What's up guys, Justin here for another video. Haven't made a video in about uh, three days and let me show you exactly why. This is why. It's not doing it anymore, but yeah, it's been raining. If you look closely right there, you see the integer. I was gonna film yesterday, me and my friend Angel, we did some work to the Integra, we fixed the brakes, cause uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the video in the last video that I uploaded, I don't know why this looks so yellow. I don't know if I had mentioned it in the last video or not, but pretty much the brakes on the Integra felt like shit. All it needed was a brake master cylinder, I got one from him off of a Type R, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but the brakes fell off 100% better. And I was gonna film that and I really wanted to, but it was just raining and I didn't want my camera to get wet. So I just said, fuck it. And didn't film at all. But today, I've got a little surprise for the Integra. Later on, I'm probably gonna pick it up probably like five o'clock or whatever. Two surprises for the Integra. Uh, but what I'm about to do right now, so pretty much, if you're unaware. Um, okay, so my Integra needed a door. I got a new door. I didn't film any of this because I just felt like it was kind of useless. So I needed a new door. Okay, so we swapped the door. We swapped my harness into the door. And I tried to roll the window up. Didn't work on the driver's side. It worked on the passenger side. So I was like, okay, well maybe the motor is bad. We swapped the motors, cause mine was just working. Swapped the motors and it still didn't work. So I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this shit? The passenger side was working, but the driver's side wouldn't work. So we really couldn't figure out anything. And I was like, well, how could the harness be bad when it was just working? None of the fuses were blown or anything. So I was like, what the hell? After that, then the passenger side one stopped working. So pretty much long story short, we ended up getting them up by hooking it up to a battery and like jumping the uh, motor. We got both windows up, but I still need to figure out what the hell is wrong with it. I tried to swap the switch. That didn't work. So I don't know what the hell is wrong with it, but uh, I was looking it up and a lot of people were saying like a ground, but all the grounds under the engine were fine. I was like, well, the engine ground shouldn't have anything to do with it. But I do think, and I haven't been outside yet today, but I do think that the uh, Integras, I think all Civics and Hondas, I'm pretty sure all cars, have grounds in the trunk somewhere. And I know my brake light was messing up, like it would keep going on and off, but the light bulb was fine. So right now what I'm about to go do is go out there and see if a ground out there is loose and maybe that's like messing with the window or something i don't know i got both door panels off so maybe it's a ground on the door that's like fucked up or something that's blowing the fuser I, I don't i don't know i don't really know wires i can hook up speakers all day long radios lights all that stuff i can fix cell phones but i don't do car wiring so pretty much about to go check that right now uh and hopefully I can figure it out because I need my windows to go up and down because it's hot, it's humid, I don't have AC until I get an AC belt, so I really need to fix this shit now. So let me go out here, uh, I gotta make this flyer for Jamar for our little car meet. And if you guys are local, you should come out to the meet. I haven't been going to them recently because like my cars have been messing up, but this car is like extremely reliable now that I got the brakes fixed, I feel like I can go anywhere in the world. So uh, if you want to come out to the meet, here's the poster right here. Just come out, say what's up or whatever. We're trying to grow the meat bigger, so yeah, if this helps, you know, just come out and say what's up. Eventually. I was so pissed out today I broke these cheap ass fucking glasses. <sighs> now I gotta get some new ones. As you can see, my new door. Now I look stupid, just like on the EG. But another thing about this door, so I'm assuming it came, well, I'm not assuming. I know that it came off of a 98 or newer, and look at all that water dripping out. It's probably why it's messed up, because it has this little ridges. See like the little line right there? And uh, the 94s through 90, what is it, 97s? Don't have that. Let's see. So I need to find a matching mirror. So yeah, let me move this car down a little bit so I can get in the trunk. Just gonna let it real. 
And as you can see, the two fuse is blue. Excuse my dirty ass carpet. I've had this car for like almost a week and I've not vacuumed it out yet because of the whole window situation and the brakes is fucked up so I didn't even worry about it. This shit, I fixed it. Well, not really. Uh, as you can see, I just put some electrical tape on it, but it might look stupid, but it looks better than before. Need to give me some more struts. These ones are starting to go out. Okay, excuse this mess. And there it is. The trunk ground. Now, I don't know if it's bad or not. Um, but let me take it off real quick. Two thousand years later. All right, moment of truth. Well, nothing. I don't know. If any of you guys know what it could be, please let me know. Because uh, it's like to the point where it's like irritating the hell out of me now. Well, guys, I am currently sitting at the Wawa that is currently getting remodeled, unfortunately, because I would love to go in there and get something to drink. But, guess what I got? I got the goddamn Type R wing. Shout out to, I forgot your name, but shout out to that Honda chick on Instagram. I'll put it right here. Uh, she was really cool. She knows a lot of people that I know. So shout out to her for letting me buy this uh, wing from her. And she's local, so uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's mock it on the car real quick. Even I already know how it's gonna look. It's gonna look beautiful. Every Integra needs this modification. If you don't have a Type R wing, your Integra is garbage. Type R wing for the win. That song. <laughs> How you doing? Mm, 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 mm. Well, let me put this back in here. Probably put it on tomorrow. Probably put the wing on tomorrow. I wanted to put it on today, but she ended up doing something. She was busy doing something, so it's kind of late now. As you can see, it's getting dark. So I'm just gonna have to wait. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it um, as much as I'm going to enjoy this type of wing being on here. Now, I probably should have been more responsible and used the money to fix the windows, but to be completely honest, it was a type R wing, and like I told her, you don't see them that often, so you gotta jump on them when you can. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Instagram, do all that good crap, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Let me show you something that's real, huh? Two, three, y'all niggas kill, huh? Popped out, they took my nail. I mean, really, let me tell you how it feels. You said it was a shooter, got shot down. Uh, gotta keep a ooze on the block now. Uh, keep a bad memory when the cops run. Uh, Live life so cold, he don't rock now. He tried to move the weight. Oh. That was a cool mistake. Wow. I'm not in the mood today. No. I keep me a tool, I hate it. I know you protect.